When a bunch of cows come together, we call them a herd of cattle. And when birds fly together, it's called a flock of birds. When cheetahs gather, you could call them a leap of cheetahs. But did you know that when crows get together, we call them a murder of crows? There's lots of fun names we have for animals when they gather together. But don't try to have it with the gaggle of geese. Gaggle of geese! Inside a crowd of lions. Whisper, please. Mean it! Not so loud. There are slithering snakes and a bevy of bucks. And in fine, a paddling of ducks. Family names. Why did cool school of fish? Family names. After a flatfish is hatched, a bizarre transformation begins. One of the fish's eyes begins to travel across the top of the fish's head until both eyes are on the same side. Then the flatfish spends the rest of its days swimming and living sideways. That's a fascinating fact. If you were a fish and you wanted to fly and glide underwater, you'd be a ray. Rays are related to sharks. You could say that rays are sort of like flattened sharks. Many rays have soft skin that almost feel like velvet. And some rays can grow to be over 50 feet long. If you were a ray, you'd also have a painful surprise for any fish who'd want you for a meal. Rays have venomous spines on their tails. They can whip those spines into any creature that comes too close. Rays aren't normally aggressive. They use their venom mostly to defend themselves. Here's another relative of the ray, the sawfish. The sawfish doesn't have venomous spines, but those teeth would keep anybody away from bothering a sawfish. If you were a ray, whatever ray you'd be, you'd have fins that seem like wings.
fish are too dangerous. It seems that fish usually end up being somebody else's meal. Can you name some dangerous fish? Bar barracudas. They, they, they're, they're, real, they're real long and they have sharp teeth. Barracudas are one of the most fierce undersea creatures. In some oceans, barracudas are more feared than sharks. But not all dangerous fish live in the sea. Along rivers in South America, a small fish with a voracious appetite has become notorious. Piranha are hardly more than a foot long. But when schools of piranha get hungry, even animals the size of a horse aren't safe in the water with those ferocious fish. But most dangerous fish don't go looking for trouble. The lionfish is one of the most docile fish in the ocean and one of the most deadly. Well, if you touch these spines, they can get you very, very sick. That's right. Inside each of the lionfish's pretty fins is a sharp spine of painful venom. But the most venomous fish of all is the ugly stonefish. The stonefish is almost impossible to see until it's too late. The venom in the stonefish is so deadly. Anyone unlucky enough to step on a stonefish better get help fast. Sea creatures don't always hunt each other. Sometimes, two animals even team up to help each other. It's called symbiosis. Here are two odd buddies. The sea anemone has venomous tentacles that can sting to death any fish that comes close enough to touch. But the little clownfish swims in and out of those tentacles unharmed. Somehow, the two animals have made a deal. The anemone's tentacles protect the clownfish from becoming another fish's meal. And a hunter chasing after the clownfish can end up instead becoming a meal for the anemone. That's a fascinating fact. 